Hello, I'm James George and this is Create a Beacon and this week I'm going to show you how to uh, do a positive negative effect in Illustrator and uh, this effect is pretty popular and uh, before the tools uh, were available like the Pathfinder and these little trick tricky uh, extras here uh, creating this kind of effect took a lot of time uh, you had to really think about what you were going to do before you could do it and but this this is a really neat effect and so uh, the effect I'm talking about is let's say you have like type and a shape and you have uh, part of the uh, text shows up and then when the shapes overlap they sort of cut out of each other and it forms a positive negative effect and um, you know you can create that pretty easily with Illustrator now and so I've got some text here it's uh, united and uh, just just for uh, illustrative purposes and uh, the typeface I used is League Gothic, a nice, bold, uh, tall typeface, and overlapping it is a circle. So um, there's not really, like in Illustrator, there's no smart objects or anything like that, but uh, it doesn't really matter. This is uh, pretty easy to, to recreate because it's just a simple effect but what you need to do is you need to turn this text into shapes and so you can just go to object expand hit OK and so now you have just the there's no stroke on this it's just solid fill and you've got the letters and then you've got the circle laid on top of it so if you select both of these then go down to the Pathfinder palette. Over here you have Exclude and what it does is it uh, excludes the overlapping areas and where the lettering and the circle overlap it's going to cut out this part while leaving the areas that don't overlap behind so you can still read it so if you just click this button right here on the end called exclude boom and this is completely this there's no fill in here so this is pretty cool you can put this on a colored background if you want so for example if I create a red box and arrange send it back if I send this to the back and then I color it like a red color and take this and make it white you get that effect and it's a real positive, you can still read all the text, you can tell that it says United, and you have a little a play here. So it's a really interesting and neat effect, and you can do some interesting things with it. Uh, just real quick, I'll do another example. Let's say you had a, a star, and if you hold Shift where you're dragging, it will make it straight up and down, so you don't have to try to do that with your mouse. And so if you hold down Shift, you can constrain it. And another little quick tip since we're here, uh, with the star tool, if you use the up arrow while, you're, uh, while you've got the mouse held down before you drag out the shape, you can add points. So if you up, whoops, for some reason it, and if you use down, you can create a triangle. And so that's that's the easiest way for me to create an equilateral equilateral triangle uh, in Illustrator. A lot of people don't even know that that feature exists. There it is. And so what? Make it a five point star. I'll put that in the middle. And let's say let's grab an A 
and we'll do something simple like Helvetica or something. Helvetica bold. We want it to be nice and bold. And we'll do the same white. And you want to make sure that these overlap. Expand this, make it a shape. And then we'll expand this out from the center. And you can you can select these and using this little options section up at the top, you can align them horizontally on their center so that it, you know everything is congruent and uh, symmetrical and it will look really interesting. And we'll also adjust it vertically and we'll just do it to where these overlap like this. And so selecting them both, we'll do the same thing. And there's your A with a star. Positive negative effect. Very cool, very interesting. Uh, a lot of people try to create this effect with the pen tool and do their own thing, and that's just uh, clipping paths and things like that. You don't have to do that. You can you can use the exclude option, and it's really easy. Another cool thing, I'll show you this real, real quick, is when you want to create a custom effect or you want to cut a chunk out of something but want to leave other parts this is this is really cool uh, the divide uh, pathfinder tool is what I use you click this little button and what it does is everywhere where these shapes overlap each other and make a make their own little miniature shapes inside it divides it up so this is a shape this will be a separate shape this is a shape this is a shape this is a shape and it's a really easy way to be able to remove pieces out of an illustration I love that I use that all the time and so it's grouped but all you have to do is just go to ungroup and now each piece is selectable you can remove that and now your A has arms or spikes or a wing or something like that and the type has has these little legs it all, you could almost make it like a figure out of this or, or something you know that that's how uh, why illustrator is so handy with illustration you know hence the name illustrator well that's those are my tips for this week i'm james george and this is creative beacon